think I've opened up a can of worms. I'm just trying to get the floor finished. Well, start to get finished. And where the back of the van meets the front cab, where I want to end the floor, treat it as two separate things, there was a few spots of rust. Before I put a wooden timber down, I wanted to treat the rust with some hammerite on them. These bits here. Right. So then I started to delve a little bit deeper underneath here to uh, hoover it all out and get rid of the dust. And then that's what I find. And I think it's look all the way underneath. More work. Um, should do the floor up to where I can and then I'm going to have to have all the front seats out I'm going to have to have that front floor all the way up clear everything out and uh, get rid of all that rust it's only surface rust get rid of all that rust get it treated get it painted put a new floor down no one said it was going to be easy Crack on. I also do portraits and landscapes. This problem I've got at the front. Uh, you see, where the, the van ends there, that big bit there. The problem with putting a baton right across there is these ridges really hard. I'd have to put a very thin tall baton and it just wouldn't be stable. So what I've done, I've routed out a piece of timber. Because of this joint that's in here that's raised, I've had to route her out this piece of timber. And this piece of timber sits over that raised bit there, uh, which brings it up level with the battens in the floor. And that's why I've had to do that. So I'll take the floor up to the, end, the edge of that. And then the cab side I will be treating as completely separate to the back. So once the floor's down and everything and I've done some more work to the van, I will take all the seats out, take all this out, this rubber, whatever that is, just knackered that is, take all that out and um, rub all the floor down, treat the rust and uh, paint it. But that'd be a, you know another day. That's um but what I've done is I've treated the 
the rust bits along this this length here just up to the up to the wooden batten you can see along there so that I'll still be able to get to the rest of it um, as a separate part if you know what I mean so more king span a few little off cuts but I've bought another couple of sheets the ceiling and the floor and this is just a bit of an off cut apply for me to walk on right let's crack on These are the, um, like throughout the van you get the uh, tie down uh, brackets. <coughs> well, I took the brackets out because they're in the way. I'm just re greasing up the bolts and <coughs> so I'm re greasing up the bolts. And basically in places and putting them back in the floor just to fill up the hole and they go right underneath the insulation and freeze them right up. So they won't cause a problem and they won't be a thermal bridge. But in the back um, there's four of them which I've covered the holes up. I'll be screwing, I'll be uh, drilling through from underneath and I'll be putting the brackets putting the brackets back in um, once the plies down um, so I can secure things to them in the van and then underneath the van I'll have to uh, bloody motorbikes then underneath the van I will be uh, uh, covering the bolts so that they uh, don't let the cold in. That's the theory anyway. Time will tell. It's squeezing out some of the grease so I won't let any moisture through. That's it. Happy days. Hmm. Also, I don't know if you can see. Um, this area here is a massive flat area with no ridges, no support, and also a big bit here. Massive flat area. What I'm doing in them flat areas to create some some rigidity underneath. I've got some uh, 10 mil packers, so basically they go into uh, those flat areas, same as there. So that when the insulation goes on top, it rests on the ridges and on the battens, so it's nice and firm underneath. Oh, this floor is turning into a nightmare. Hours and hours and hours of work just to fit that timber in there. Cutting, routing, trying to get the floor level. Everything's all over the place. And... Uh, Anyway, that's the front end uh, battens and insulation in. That's the front end. These are all fixed in. And that corner bit was a nightmare. And then at the back. That very back piece that I'd cut to put in. I've come back to, I put all the silicon on it ready to, to glue it in, and that don't fit. <laughs> don't ask me. Oh, talk about measure twice, cut once. I've measured and measured and measured and measured again. Fit it, dry fit it, measured again. <sighs> just, I don't know, just don't seem to want to go. So I think I'm going to need to take a couple of millimetres off that. To bring it down a bit more. So let's crack on. <laughs> 